it's only chasing three straight, but it would be colossal for the Tigers. The most intriguing matchup of all is Benji Marshall, fourth game as coach, coming up against Wayne Bennett, his great mate, who is uh, coaching game number 918. <laughs> Some contrast. Here they are, the Tigers Suncorp Stadium, main billing on a Saturday night. In my head, it, it lives rent free in my head. Hurt man Randy doing great job. Atmosphere. Matty Johns on Fox League. This week he has declared they are a top eight side. The Dolphins are racking up the points the last two matches. Yeah, there he is, Marshall King up against his brother in the coaching box tonight, Benji. Uh, he's been so good for them. Been a great signing, was very good for Canterbury in, in some tough times and has been outstanding for them since going there. Running game will be a threat tonight along with Tabuai Fido uh, around the middle. This man's been terrific in his 100th game, hasn't he? No nonsense, tough front rower, young and athletic, will go after the Tigers pack. The battle between him and Utoi Kamanu, it'll be on for young and old early. This is going to be Willie. Super Saturday, game three, round five, Fox League. And the Tigers, it's Utoi Kamanu, the first hit up. Good evening, gentlemen. It's quite a pleasant evening down here on the sideline. No rain around, but the field quite damp and slippery after all the rain we've had in the last couple of days. As you mentioned off the top, guys, the Tigers shooting for three straight tonight. They haven't done that since round six of 2018 when current coach Benji Marshall was actually the captain and 5'8 in that game. So it's been a long, long time. And just uh, reiterating the news on Appy Coruscant, I double-checked with the Tigers. They say he is all good. They are not worried about that quad injury. He will be good to see this one out. Okay, that is excellent news. Herbie Farnworth on that run. Scored his first try as a Dolphin last week. Herbie against the Titans. Here's Jesse Bromwich. Right on halfway, and Coruscant on cue makes the tackle. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. You, you tell me. Getting up there, he looked oh, uh, a little ginger. Great play, Dolphins. Bostock's on the move. Katoa's inside. Katoa's on his way. The Dolphins have got the first try. They've opened up the Tigers' right side. Nicely done. And all smiles with the Dolphins fans here. Is an absolute beauty. Straight and direct there from Katoa. He's done a great job since coming back into the side. After, after being left out in round one, he is such a star. No surprise the Dolphins have locked him up long term. He's an absolute beauty, Katoa. Nick Arima, the veteran, great catch and pass. Staines caught in field. Bostock, the recipient, he did well too. And it's been a hot start from the Dolphins at Suncorp. Harvey Norman replay. Everyone did their job there, didn't they? You got a, a 20 year old halfback passing to the 30 year old 5'8. And then linking up with this man, Bostock, who's a, I reckon, a bit of a favourite of Wayne Bennett's. Yeah. He's, um, he's coming along. They've got some depth in the backs. And the 20 year old winger passes back to the 20 year old halfback. Yeah, the former Barker student. Go three. Nick up for Flegler. That's only tackle four. Hey, that went wrong at the nice other end. No time to review, but it was a total Six breakdown of the Tigers' attack. Four. Hey, hey. Bateman, well, hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These two live wires don't need an invitation to a stink. Bateman and Flegler. Now yeah, they turn this momentum around. The ball movement has been terrific from the Dolphins and the offloading a concern means you're not winning the collision. So Sarko on target this time, one for two. And through 11 minutes, Super Saturday, Fox League game three. Isaiah, Just caught Buddy's uh, first try as a Dolphin in his first game for the club. In round two against the Dragons, his Aitken headed across field and was just clipped, nothing more, but yeah, if they want the high. two and want to go 8-0 in front, in the earlier game this afternoon, it's an outstanding origin line, isn't it? It's brilliant. So Sarko puts the mate in front. 8-0. He's eager to mix on both Cook and Robson. Marshall King on for Kafusi. Run up over the advantage line. Felice has wound back the clock, sprinting, linking up with no better man. Ever so Tabuai Fido. Marshall King, look at this, times it to perfection. With the experience of Kafusi gets in behind the ruck. Some ordinary missed tackles there for the Tigers. And Kafusi, well, he, he hit his limit. The treadmill started to slow down. And Tabuai Fido charging around Jareem Buller. The battle of the two fullbacks coming together for the first time. 
And it's the Dolphin superstar. Started with the experience of Kapusi, a brave, tough run in between Bole and Finu, and found a way into the backfield. And boy, wasn't he relieved when he <laughs> saw. Look at this. What a shot. Hamasi. <laughs> there wasn't another step in police. But he finds Hamasa, who does it easy. Oh, the speed and balance of this man is just so good to watch. What a pickup he has been for the Dolphins. Hamasa, Tabuai, Vida. <laughs> no more popular player at the club for the fans than this man. Debut back in 2015. Dangerous contact charge on Benji Marshall. He was suspended after his first game. It was up against Benji when he was at the Dragons. Oh, look at this. Oh, Pilot. A sack from the Dolphins. That may be the San Francisco 49ers there on the Tigers. They're picking one. They've had no dummy half now. They've been taken back in goal. And again, it's Marshall King leading the line. And it's the impressive thing with the Dolphins this year. They've been able to change gear. Second half underway. Tigers need points early in this half. So Kerr takes the first run back. Sullivan infield. Fainu for Twal and Caesar along for Papali'i. Cut out ball. Stains now. Straightens up. Fatape looking for a try. He's got his first. Chris Hornington too. Caesar as goal kicker has brought the margin back to eight points. Sullivan infield, Fainu uh, for Twal and Caesar along for Papali'i. Cut out ball, stains now, straightens up, Fatape looking for a try. He's got his first. You can see at the stains, long shift, just a little deception there from Latu Fainu, found Twal and the ball there from. Papali on the outside to Staines was a beauty. Did well to keep it alive with Fatape. And does he get the footy down? No doubt there'll be an inspection. It ends up around the belly button, I think you'll find, Michael. But Isaiah Papali, a beautiful ball to the speedster. The former Forbes Ferrari. He was known at Penrith and gets his chance. Out on that right wing, does he get it down? Fatape was confident. Stone came hard from the inside. This will show it perfectly. And the try confirmed. Yeah, he gets it down at first attempt. Yeah, there. Beautiful. Yeah, that ball rolls down the body, but the work was done. They're inside the 20 of the Dolphins. The Tigers fans here are uh, a little excited. Caesar with the ball. Fanu to pull up. He'll try a left. Doesn't get him past Farnworth or Nikarima. 10 from the line, three tackles left. Manu Fainu in for 12, nice move. Tackled five minutes away by Stone. Gorazau up in the line, passes the a sticky ball. And Bolle is tackled, last play. Gorazau, back it goes, Caesar gets it to the end goal! Double, is it? Solomon Fantape plunges under the ball. If the put down is clean, Sutton agrees. And he just threads it through beautifully off the left boot. Sits up perfectly. Just dabs it through the inside of Katoa there. And farts halfway. Does he get his second? He didn't look confident with the put down. Yes. It, it's <laughs> torso. Okay. It's all torso, Andrew. Okay. 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 You can't control the ball with the torso. A ball off the ground. It's not. <laughs> Gathering oh. possession. It's it's tight. It's it close. It's tight. It is. It is. Oh boy. And I reckon in the end he's uh yeah. he's done some pepping downstairs with the ball. That's gone up dry. Mm. Have you seen anything that says there's sufficient evidence to take it off him in? I don't think so. It's confirmed. Tigers have got their second. The Dolphins aren't going to be happy with it. They have a full set here to set something up 15 metres away from the line. This will be play one. Good tackle play there. Twile hit the deck in back play. Dolphins, Marshall King, two bounces on Donahue, not their best. To find their shape here, the Dolphins. Marshall King, flat to Kerr. 
Josh Kerr is close to the line. Tigers desperately defending the goal line right now. Marshall King, Tabu Ifido, there for Aitken again, two in the tackle. They're stopping the offloads as well, the Tigers. 19 minutes to go, Marshall King, long to Katoa, to kick, before the last, Nick and Raymond's there! Seven to six, as Ben Boozled the Tigers, too good, absolutely too good. Yeah, one of his pit plays, Nick Arima, just charging from outside in. For next season as well, so really looking to impress and really forming a great combination with that young fella, Isaiah Katoa, as you guys touched on. He only just re-signed with the Dolphins for three years uh, into the end of 2020. Margin about to be 10 for the Dolphins, chasing a third straight win. Suncorp Stadium, Super Saturday, Fox League. Dolphins 20, Tigers 10. None of it are letting the ball bounce. He owned that one. Bostock on the carry for the Dolphins. So they scored the first try of the night in the fifth minute through Katoa. At no point have they trailed the Dolphins. Ten is good, but not home. Farnworth on this carry. Coming right across field on the run. Almost linked up with his set apart. On halfway, a little bit of milking again. Marshall King with the ball. Got away from Bubbly. Kenny Bromwich with the ball, doesn't get many tries, he's got a big one here. Kenny Bromwich scores for the Dolphins, an unlikely try scorer really, with respect to Kenny. Marshall King, the running game was always a threat, you can see there, slow to get back onside, far tap, mate. that's a poor effort from Isaiah Papali, just reaching, Marshall King just waltzed through that gap. And found Kenny Bromwich, look at this, out to the right hand side, ball in two hands. And just a little bit of deception there. Harper Lee will be disappointed with that effort. And straight into the backfield, waited for the support to arrive. Did a great job to hold up ball up for as long as he could. And a beautiful pass right onto the chest, the hammer was looming too. And Kenny Bromwich, the veteran, dives over and extends their lead. And that makes it a little harder for the West Tigers. Yes, yeah, about to become 26 to 10. 14 is handy with 13 and a half to go. Now make that 16. The Dolphins, the top of the table Dolphins, leading the Tigers 26 to 10. Great play, Caesar. Coruscant with dummy half. Back it comes. Caesar with the ball, offloading the safer. Tigers lose shape totally there. Although Safarth continues to wrestle. They're coming at him from all sides there. Nicarima chopping with the saw his arm off. Now Coruscant. Oh, Headbutt almost from Safarth. That'll be interesting to see on the replay. Utoy Kamado, quick play the ball. Coruscant, Safarth, Safarth rolls over. Oh, Farnworth is in enormous trouble here. Mabuto Kamanu, they just weren't able to get back, and some little bit of deception from Horacio and Farnworth caught underneath the tackle there of Safar. Five minutes 43 seconds on the clock. This brings it back within the two converted tries. Jake on the sideline. Yeah, real injury concerns for the Dolphins at the moment, guys. Obviously, we see Herbie Farnworth there still being assisted by the trainer, but Tom Flegler is on the bench as well. Rush home with a Sunday night game. The Raiders and the Eels exclusive for Fox League. Nichols takes the last run of the game. Wayne Bennett's team have done it again. The Tigers' streak of two comes to an end.